the Joe Rogan experience. There's uh there's one other video. Oh yeah, this right here. Look at this uh, sharpshooters of these little mice. They put mice in the middle of the the village, and they shoot them with bows and arrows. Yep. Um, that seems mean. It is kind of mean, but he got Did real they close. Eat them? Yeah, yeah, they eat them. So that's their target practice. So they they'll shoot go grab these like rats. four or five. That's a rat, by yeah. the way, and a mouse. Yeah. They shoot these rats and then they eat them. Yep. And actually, not this one. Have you eaten rat? But uh, I have four. What's rat. it like? Not good. It's kind of stringy. <laughs> <laughs> I've had I've had python. Uh, I've had uh, cobra. You I've ate had, cobra? Mm, I've had monkey. I think I'm, there's a video Whoa. of eating monkey on there. That's dark. Is there is there a video of the kid with the uh, the machete? What's it like eating monkey? Does that freak it's you really out? Good. You're eating one of your uh, ancestors? I, this was right before the Ebola breakout. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know about it. And then all of a sudden, Ebola, and they're like, it's from eating monkeys. I'm like, oh, Guys, Jesus. Why didn't y'all tell me you could Ebola? Well, we always eat monkeys. None of us have ever had Ebola. What kind of, what method of cooking? Is it like a smoked monkey? Yeah, you just smoke it. You yeah. Wrap it in a banana leaf. Yeah, it's a very like stringy, hard, muscular animal. Yeah. Right? My uh, friend Steve Ranella had some. Yeah. I think in Guyana, he uh, he ate a monkey. See this? Uh, look at this kid here. He's with a machete. The machete's as long as that kid is tall. What is he doing? Chopping down this tree? Yeah, just chopping down the tree for firewood. Mm. But that kid looks like he's five years old. Uh, if he's, that, he's younger than that. I think. How old? Uh, well, he might be five. You're, Maybe you might be right. Four, three, four, four or five, and they're letting him use a machete to chop down a fucking tree. <laughs> Dude, they climb. This kid, they climb the trees with that. The kid, the kid you you saw climb that tree. He was doing that with bows and arrows. Oh my god! With bows and arrows, he climbed that tree. They're so hard. Yeah, and look at that kid that's just hanging out by him. To Uh, us, the kid is right next to him. How many of these guys that live in these villages are injured? Uh, I mean, they get injured from time to time. Yeah, but they're super smart with the blades. I mean, they grow up with. I don't even mean from getting cut. I mean, just injured. Injured. There's no medical. I mean, they roll their ankles through the forest. They when they're climbing stuff, knee ligaments. Yeah. Um, What do they wind up doing? They just heal, uh, heal up like by giving it rest. Um, What's kind of cool about the forest life or the village life is they literally they're up early, right when the sun's coming up. They're they're up. They're down when the sun goes down and so they they they're in tune with nature yeah, in that way the yeah, circadian absolutely. rhythms circadian rhythms what i was looking for yeah and then midday during the heat of the day right three to five p.m they're normally just chilling napping or in their hut um to where they're out of the sun and so they're up working before that they rest and if they need to go back out before um the sun's down they go back out a second time hunting gathering come back in prepare it what's their bed. primary like what are, what are they trying to hunt what are, um what so there? forest antelope forest hog or wild hog out there um lots of different kinds of birds um parrots different things like that um, and they're using bows and arrows mm-hmm. homemade and bows and arrows right homemade yeah, yeah definitely and the dangerous ones i'm gonna have to bring you a bow and arrow why haven't i done that mm-hmm. uh I, I have one that is uh, that I really love. I'll see if I can get to, get get you one. Um, but uh, they will give you two arrows. One has a metal blade, and one's just a sharpened tip. Mm-hmm. And they ask you, which one would you use on an antelope? And you choose which one you you choose. And then you, right. they ask, which one would you use on a bird? And then you choose, which one would you think between a blade and the sharpened wood? Which one would you use on the antelope? You'd use a blade. Okay. And then on a bird, which one would you sharpened use? stick? Yeah, that's what makes yeah. sense to our mind, right? Yeah. It's actually the opposite. How come? They use the metal on the bird because that's going to kill the bird. Right. They use the wooden tip because they they dip that in poison. Oh, Jesus. And so that's what they take the bigger animals out with is I the see. poison. So they just have to arrows. hit it. Oh, yeah. They so just have to nick it. Anywhere in its body and it yeah. gets in there. Now, does that poison infect them no, when they it, eat it? No, it cooks out. Um, oh. It's out of this. Uh, there's these two things. It's these berries um, and these... Not roots, but it's uh, like a root fruit, not, um, like a potato. Uh, it's this poisonous black potato hmm. that like they mash up. And if you if you mess with that stuff, the potato gets smashed or something and that oil or that um, whatever. Cassava. The, not cassava. Because cassava is the cassava same is thing. Cassava is a root. But cassava it also is is is, gets strychnine. 
Oh, yeah, I know that. They, 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 you have to boil it forever. Okay. Yeah. They yeah. have to do all this shit to cassava, yeah. and then the, the I know they use white inside. Yes, um, and this is a, this it's black, a black uh, okay. potato. The, I but know yeah. they use the the strychnine from cassava to poison things as well. Oh wow! And they have like a bucket like in um, Ranella's show, uh, Steve Ranella's show, The Meat Eater, which is uh, on um, it is on Netflix. And uh, no, The Meat Eater is his website. Meat Eater is the Netflix show. But he uh, went to uh, Guyana, and uh, he's done a couple trips to different. I think Bolivia as well. And when you, you go to the jungle, like this, they have this incredibly uh, intricate process for cooking and making this cassava edible and these buckets yeah. that they have of this like sort of processed stuff as they're doing it is fucking hugely toxic yeah and it's just laying around yeah and yeah, like yeah. kids are playing near uh, it and the the kids have to be so careful yeah the parents have to be so careful with the poison yeah um because once they dip those tips of those arrows they don't come back with them they they dispose of them Really? Out in the forest. It's just too dangerous. Too dangerous to have around the kids, the toddlers right, that course. are walking around. Oh, yeah. Because toddlers are walking around with bows and arrows already. Um, they they have a bow and arrow before they're able to walk. Wow. So um, they're just the sharpened wooden tips without the poison dipped in them. <laughs> 